what do you mean by the cornus septum the mastoid develops from the squamous and petrous part of the petrous bones the petrosquamosal suture may persist as a bony plate and this bony plate that divides the mastoid antrum is called the cornus septum it separates the squamous cell cells from the deep petrosal cells the intention of taking a plain x-ray of the mastoid loss view is to identify the corner septum which if not identified the surgeon may reach the corner septum think he has reached the bottom of the antrum and leave residual infected cells deeper within resulting in residual disease the corner septum has to be broken and the deeper cells have to be cleared in a case of cortical mastoidectomy again the corner septum is the suture the petrosquamosal suture which persists as a bony plate thereby separating the squamosal cells from the deep petrosal cells corner septum